question it is given for two marks in 2019 to the 19 consider the following grammar and the semantic action to support the inherited type declaration attributes let x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and x6 be the place holders for the non terminals d t l or l1 in the following table so this is given now see here x1 and x2 x3 x4 they have not given so what which one of the following are the appropriate choices for x1 x2 x3 x4 so here the question is question is the following grammar semantic actions support the inherited type inherited means we can find the child value from either parent and or from the siblings from the siblings now look at this one here just go for the options x1 equal to l so x1 suppose x1 is l okay the x1 is l then x2 what is x2 given t so l the child value here child value child value we can find the child value can find from its siblings or from its uh, under from its parent so x1 is here given as l and x2 is given as t okay it, it can be true it can be true and go for x3 uh, where is x3 here x3 l there is l1 comma id x3 dot type x3 dot type equal to x4 dot type what is x3 x3 is given as l1 and x4 is given as l okay it can be it can be the it can be the correct answer let me explain the b c d options also x1 equal to l x1 equal to l yes x2 is also l how l dot type equal to l dot type x1 is l and x2 is also l okay then one thing now come to x3 equal to l1 x3 equal to l1 yes it can be and x4 equal to t actually what is the production here the production is l there is l there is l1 comma id where is the t here t is not there therefore this is not this is not correct so you can find the many but child value from its siblings and or from the parent here t is not present x4 in this production in this production t is not there then how can we find okay, we can take x4 as t that is the reason this is not a correct this is not correct now come to, so this is not correct this is not correct and come to c x1 equal to t yes it can be l t equal to l yes inherited attribute it can be say find from any of the children now this can be true x3 equal to l1 yes x3 equal to l1 again x4 equal to t again how t came as there is no production no t in the production so this is also not correct now come to t x1 equal to t yes it can be x2 equal to l yes it can be then x3 equal to t again x3 how when there is no t in the production how can be x3 is t therefore b c d are not correct then a yes x1 equal to l and x2 equal to t yes he is he is finding finding the l value from its sibling yes it can be and x3 equal to l1 this one and he is finding the child value from the parent yes so this is the right answer for this question